friends, let's make a globe icon. Here I am in Figma. Let's first draw a circle. I'm going to press the O key and draw it from the center. I'm holding down both the shift and option key on Mac or shift and alt key on Windows. Let's swap the fill in the stroke, press shift X, and we want that stroke to be set on the inside. So check those stroke settings. We're going to click that color and set it to black. We are going to create the oval in the center. Fun fact, all circles in perspective are just an oval. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste that. I'm going to hold down the option key, alt key, if you're on Windows to scale it to the center. I am going to set it to a width of 12. So you can see that there. Next, let's draw a line. I'm going to use the pen tool. So press the P key and draw a line from the top down there to the bottom. If you see the pen tool sticking still, hit the escape key and we can now draw in another line. I'm going to start from the left side of our circle, hold down the shift key and click there to the right. Last thing that we need to do to bring this together, I'm going to copy once again another circle, hold down the option key as I drag it. It's going to be holding down the alt key and dragging if you're on Windows. And here I'm going to zoom in and let's adjust it to this point. You see how we have this faint line in our guide. Let's have the circle go right up to that point. I'm going to duplicate this circle again here and move this down to the bottom and just bring it right about there. Now all we need to do is select that arc. I'm going to move it out and drag the ratio down all the way to the edge until this is a proper stroke. I can adjust my sweep and my starting point. Adjust your starting point first and then your sweep and you will see that that arc matches perfectly. I'm going to do it again. Obviously you can copy and paste the first one, but I want to really take home this concept. We're going to use the arc tool to bring this out. Once again, this is a stroke. So we're going to bring the ratio all the way down. So then this way we get this nice, perfect stroke with our arc. I'm going to adjust that start point to be right about there so it overlaps with our main circle and then drag out the other here. Now we want to clean it up. I am going to select all the points. Let's bring my UI back here. I'm going to choose the Boolean operation. I'm going to union the selection. Now, if I press shift O, you can begin to see how this is put together. And if you want to optimize this further, what you can do is press command E and that will flatten the graphics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to select this union object. Let's take a look and see what that looks like in our panel here. So we have this union object. It has all of these here. And what I'm going to do is flatten that. So when I press command E, it's going to flatten it to one main fill. It's no longer going to be strokes anymore. So let's tuck that away. Let's take a look at this graphic. I'm going to move it down here out of the grid and we're going to press shift O and you can see all of the points. This is now a fill object. Many of your icons can be expanded in this way. And let's take a look and see what those points look like. I'm going to double click in and select and you can see that the output is very clean in the way that the handles are drawn with this shape. So let's select this move this back up to the top. The one last thing I'm going to do, this union object, I'm going to name it icon. This is going to be our globe icon, globe icon. There you have it. That's all we have for today. Hopefully you found that helpful. Make sure you leave any questions in the comments. And as always, happy designing.